Okay, so I tried to do a Facebook Live with this earlier, and for some reason I was jabbering on for five minutes, and I realized that um, no one was listening or watching because my Facebook Live wasn't working. So here's a regular video for you guys. So what I wanted to talk about today is um, shakes in general and what is in your shakes, specifically morning shakes or morning smoothies. I know this is a huge go-to for a lot of people in the morning, including myself. Um, a lot of times when you wake up first thing in the morning, you just don't have the stomach or the time to be able to um, have something big and heavy, such as you know an omelet with turkey bacon or oatmeal or whatever it may be. So shakes are quick, easy go-tos, and um, it's easy to get a lot of different macronutrients in, um, a good amount of condensed calories into um, you know one serving, something that's simple that you can sip on the way to work or while you're at your desk so it can be a great alternative but you need to know the right ingredients to put in it or it can really do you more harm than good this topic is really inspired by a question that I was asked a couple days ago by a friend who wanted to know my position on low carb in general but really fruit as a food source and I was so glad that she asked that because she was putting um, fruit in her morning shake and I know that when I talk to a lot of clients and um, I'm helping them get their you know, customized nutrition program together and they tell me what they're currently doing and they have a shake in the morning, it tends to be mostly fruit based. So there's nothing wrong with fruit. I don't want you guys to be afraid of fruit. It has great antioxidant properties. It contributes different vitamins and minerals to your body, but there's a right time to put it in your day. You wanna make sure that you're not putting it at the incorrect times so that you are spiking and dropping your blood sugar so that you are increasing your level of fatigue and um, possibly contributing to inflammation in your body, um, increasing your level of hunger. If you're someone that gets hungry very often, um, how you strategically place your fruit throughout your day can really affect your hunger level and other hormones in your body. So what I want to make sure that you guys realize is that when you are putting fruit in your shake in the morning, especially a lot of fruit without any other um, like fibrous greens or um, fat sources or lean protein sources, you are spiking and dropping your blood sugar levels, spiking your insulin levels. Um, you're going to increase your level of hunger very soon after. A lot of people that end up having um, smoothies or shakes in the morning that are mainly comprised of fruit end up being hungry in about another 30 minutes to an hour. And that's because of the fact that your blood sugar spiking and then dropping right away, your insulin spiked with it, but it didn't drop right away. So if your insulin's up here looking for sugar to consume and that blood sugar level already went down, it's gonna tell your brain, um, hey, I'm still here. I'm supposed to be consuming sugar, so you gotta eat something. So that's what happens to your body when you consume all that sugar and it breaks down so fast and your insulin levels are still this high and it's like, all right, time to eat again. But if you're going to add in some type of nut butter or some type of um, you know, protein powder, then you're going to slow down the digestion and the breakdown of those sugars so that they're not going to spike and drop your blood sugar as fast. So here's my suggestion to you. This is what I do for my shake in the morning and there are a couple different ways to do it, but two, my two typical shakes will end up being um, my physique protein powder, which is a whey casein blend, which two different types of protein digesting at different rates is going to fuel your muscles longer and sustain your, um, your energy levels longer as far as how fast each one of those is going to be breaking down. Um, I usually add in a nut butter, so almond butter or peanut butter, cashew butter, and some uh, cacao powder, which is the, that pure chocolate powder is great antioxidants properties. And then I'll add in either almond milk or um, water with some ice cubes to make it a little bit thicker. Um, or if I don't do that shake, I'll do my fibrous greens, which is like my spinach or my kale. And then I'll add in just like a little bit of pineapple juice or half a banana. It really helps to break up the um, the green taste. Um, I love my greens, but to do it first thing in the morning with a shake doesn't always seem as appetizing. So you don't have to have a lot of fruit to make it sweet. So do fresh pineapple juice or you know half a cup of some type of fruit or half a banana. It's perfect. It cuts the green. You have um, you know a great taste from your vanilla protein powder, and it makes for a really great shake. So those are my two go-to's for my shakes in the morning. But if you're going and putting, um, you know, handfuls of fruit in your Ninja Blender 
throwing some ice in there, um, maybe even throwing some yogurt in there, which dairy is going to lead to more inflammation, water retention. So watch throwing dairy into your shake in the morning. Um, that type of shake isn't going to sustain you for very long, and it's not starting you off that great for your first meal of the morning, spiking and dropping that blood sugar, leading to you being hungrier sooner. It's going to throw off your hormone levels for the rest of the day. So really think about that, guys. I know it seems like it's just something that you want to whip together really quick to leave, but just changing the proportions of the fruit that you have in there, the ingredients, and making sure that you have a protein source and or a fat source in there with some fibrous greens can really make a difference in how your hunger sustains throughout the rest of the day. So that's my lesson to you guys for today. Think about what's in your shake. If you have any questions, post them below.